Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again. Unfortunately, our streak is big gone. Big gone. We're doing regular old Lazarus today. Um, we did him kind of recently, but we've not done a lot as him, so I'm more okay with it. Uh, we could do Greedier with him. It's kind of an interesting prospect for Greedier, because his main mechanic is a little bit iffy here. Do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I know I did Greedier last run. I'm not, I don't want to do Greedier too much. But at the same time... Oh, that was kind of nice. Oh, oh, hello. Hello. An extra little key here. Yeah, it's kind of like... I don't know. Oh, tears down. Hmm. That is... Yeah, this is going to be a hard reset. I'm sorry. I don't do that very often. But on a streak of one, getting a tears down, I have to say, not the greatest. Um... Especially considering the stuff in the shop wasn't amazing. It's kind of... Hmm. That's kind of intriguing. Right, let's see what we get from here. Oh, that's not very good either. Um, Although... Although... It does give us the opportunity to get the item from the treasury. But yeah, for the question of the day, what is something that... Like... Everyone else hates that you really love. I, I may have asked this before. It's so hard to know nowadays. So hard to know. But yeah, what is something that is generally really loved that you hate? Or the opposite. What is something that everybody hates that you love? Because, yeah, it, it, it can always be a bit, of a bit of a weird one. That Oh, we can get the other key as well. I didn't even think about that. And we got a bomb. And we got a golden chest. I'll open that up. And we got our key back and a single penny. It's all worth it, people. Now we just need a lot of speed upgrades. Do you know what? Not bad either. And to top it all off, we actually have something pretty useful here in the Magician card. Because that gives us homing for this entire fight now, which is actually pretty darn useful. Uh, but I, I, I'm just thinking now, because I don't know how many people know this, but in the UK at the minute, there's a pretty insane heat wave. For a lot of countries, I suspect that this guy's got homing as well. What the hell? No, he doesn't. He just has purple tears. Um, yeah, um, for, for some countries, you won't think it's that hot. It's like, um, oh, that was a that was a good hit, sir. I think it's like 30, 35 degrees today, which, yeah, for some countries, is probably like just a regular old day. But for the UK, that's insane. Like, our, our, a hot day in the UK is like... 15 degrees. If it's like 15 degrees, I'm like, okay, it's a pretty hot day. Um, <laughs> or it's like a reasonably hot day. And it's like, this time it's 35. Tomorrow it's going to be 37. It's kind of intense. Um, and a lot of people are really hating it. Like, not... It, it, I think people do like it, but it's also a bit too much for people. But I, I'm just like basking in it. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like, oh, so many people love snow. I hate snow. Snow's the worst. It just... It's nice for a single day, and then it's terrible. And it's just, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that's kind of annoying. Uh, something I do want to just talk about that's completely unrelated to what I'm talking about right now, but something that I really want to sort of talk about and bring up. What is going on with this guy? Oh, I think it's because he's an eternal champion. He's, he's glitched out a little bit. Um, is I don't know how many of you saw this. This guy, yeah, I, I don't have the speed to get away from this dude. Um... I don't know how many of you saw, but I did a... I uploaded a video to my channel uh, probably like a week ago, maybe a little more. Now, by the way, I don't care if I die here. Um, as long as I don't die again, that would be tragic. Um, but we get some stats out of that, so I kind of wanted to. Um, but yeah, something that I uploaded about oh, probably about a week ago now. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I made a trailer for Enter the Gungeon modding. I know that not a ton of you here are big into Enter the Gungeon. I know some of you are, but there's not going to be tons of people that are. Um, but I do feel like if you've never really seen Enter the Gungeon modding, I highly recommend giving, um, giving that a little look over. I think a lot of people... I think a lot of people will be surprised at the sort of crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff that's going on in Gungeon modding nowadays. Whoa, what the hell? What's going on with that, dude? That goes crazy. Oh, the speed right now. The speed right now is 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 so low. It's intensely low. This guy looks awesome. Um But yeah, I think so many people don't know like how crazy it's getting. Uh no, I've got to go Angel Deal here. I've got to. This is kinda nice. Got a devil card there, which we don't particularly need, but I'll take it. I mean, I, we don't need it, but it is good. 
Sun card, I'm just going to pop, because why not? It didn't give us a secret room, that's kind of sad. And I guess we keep going. Um, yeah, so many people don't know how crazy Gungeon Mon is getting, and... Um, there's, there's been a, a couple of cool new mods recently, but also on top of that, uh, Mum's Contact is great here, and the HP up is actually kind of decent. I'll take the hit here. Oh. I have to test this, right? Okay, no. It's just the spiked ones that do that. Interesting. Um, I guess I'll go here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, um, spawn cracked... Red key? Give. Red key. Excuse me? Why wasn't that open? <laughs> Anyways, I guess that was a waste. That was uh, some BS. Yeah. Um, it's about to get a whole lot easier to mod. At the minute, I think something that a lot of people are a little put off by is it's not a particularly... Ooh, that was... That was bad. That was bad. It's not a particularly friendly game to mod compared to, like, Isaac that just has, like, a workshop for everyone to go on. It's, it's not quite as simple and easy as that, unfortunately. Um, take a look upgrade. Uh, but... The, it's about to get a whole lot easier very, very shortly. Um, and I, I'm really looking forward to that. How on earth am I meant to get that? Am I meant to be able to get that? I don't know. Um, yeah, they're the, the basically the, the guys over the... Um, over uh, the, essentially all the modders collaboratively are uh, doing a lot of work and putting a lot of converting in to basically convert all the mods over to uh, Bepin. I think it's called Bepin something or other like that. I don't know the exact... How, how exactly to pronounce it, but basically all the mods are going to get moved over to Thunderstore. Uh, and if for those of you that don't know, Thunderstore is where a lot of other games mods are hosted, mainly Risk of Rain. And it makes modding so much more simple because it's an actual, actual mod manager and uh, you can have like auto updating enabled and a bunch of really cool little things that are going to make it so much better than it is right now. Because right now everything's kind of manual. It's all the mods are hosted on a site that nobody really like actually knows and it all seems i wouldn't say it seems sketchy but it's all it's all just a little not great and not so easy to to get past or uh, get through especially for someone that's not super experienced with modding and yeah so it's, it's it's been kind of unfortunate like that for a while and it's one of the reasons it's not really developed but in the next like sort of month or so maybe next few weeks there's gonna be some big improvements um and people are gonna be able to access modding way way easier and I'm, I'm really excited for that so please go and check out that trailer uh, i put a lot of effort into it and of course the modders that created the mods put even more effort into it and it, i really want people to see the crazy stuff that modders are doing and that trailer is only a fraction of what's available so please do go and check it out they're, they're doing some really really cool stuff just in general it's, it's one of those games that the the, the modding community of is, is relatively small but it's got so much to offer um, and and kind of like that with like nuclear throne as well is that an enemy down there what, what's going on with this enemy there's another one over here are these enemies just like duds what the hell what the hell what, what's going on with these enemies you okay sir why the <laughs> i'm confused right we really need some speed upgrades here if we can if we can hack it i mean as much as I don't want to pay for a speed upgrade, that is literally exactly what I asked for, so I'm going to take it. Um, right, I probably should have done the boss fight before leaving the room, because we have the uh, the devil card enabled, but let's pretend I didn't. Pretend I wasn't a goober just then. Nice. Yeah, good, good. Oh, we got another one of you, okay. Could you drop some hearts, sir? I know that you don't in greed mode, but I'm just going to ask you to regardless and hope that you... Um, hope that you do it. Okay, that bomb didn't do too much there. Yeah, and Nuclear Throne was another game like that, where the modding's kind of difficult. There's not a ton of people making mods. There's not actually a ton of mods out there. But it's got some really cool stuff going on. I mean, Ultra Mod, for those of you that watch my Nuclear Throne series, one of my favourite mods of, of anything that I've ever played, of any modding community. I think it's it's insanely fantastic and it, it should be something oh that guy looks awesome it should be something that everyone tries out that's played nuclear throne give that a go um 
because it is just insane how good it is. Oh, we are going to die here. And I'm fine with dying because we do need to die, but I want to get this guy to really low health first because I, I don't trust myself to not get hit again and actually die. I don't trust myself at all. So I'm going to get this guy down to relatively low health first, I think. Like, get him down to, like, 25%. Like, I think now's the right time. There you go. There you go. That was perfect. That was perfection itself. And then we get ourselves Immaculate Conception, which isn't great, but it's something useful at least. Um, we'll push on to the next floor. Get some batteries here. We don't need them. Soz. And keep going. Um, I think it's valuable to go back in here. Yes, it is. Just about. It's not... That wasn't great, but just about valuable. And I will buy this as well. Oh, no. Actually, no. That's still fine. That's still fine. I bought it and then realized I didn't really need to. But, yeah. Whatever. Keep going. Ooh, we might be able to get the uh, raw liver here if I'm if I'm lucky. I'd like to get raw liver. Damn you, game. You did it to me on purpose, didn't you? You did it to me on purpose. But I, I, always, I always like being a part of them sort of smaller modding communities. Like Peglin, Nuclear Throne... Um, enter the Gungeon. They're all, I don't know, they all feel so, like, welcoming. Oh, Uranus is amazing here. They all feel, like, so welcoming and, like, I feel like because it's a small community, it's so much more... Oh, okay. You alright there, game? You chill? You chill? Um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the modders are a lot more attentive to the community and a lot more open to suggestions when it's, when it's done like that. It, 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 all, it always depends on the, on the people and the community. Oh, Parasitoid as well. Synthoil as well. This is some good stuff, baby. It's some good eats. Oh, God. You're eternal and you scared the bejeebus out of me. Okay. Get you frozen. Push you into that guy. Oh. The icy boys are going to be slightly problematic, but very useful. Because they're going to block shots, as you can see, but also act as a way for us to deal good damage. Again, I'm taking pretty bad damage here, but I'm kind of fine with it, because I do want to be trying to die every floor to get my uh, to get my stats going. So I don't mind too much. I think having Mum's contact with Uranus is an insanely good combo because we have like multiple forms of slowing and freezing actually do you know thinking of it this might be one of the better item combinations i've ever had because i've just realized that so whoa 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 is this guy eternal i'm thinking this guy's eternal because that is not normal behavior sir your your um your fires don't normally do that also you are popping out kids at an insane rate yeah this is a bit much game I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, this is this is way, way too a bit much. Dude, the, the fires are homing. This is some fat BS game. Why is the two of these same enemies on top of each other? This is so much to This I am dead. I am dead. This is so much to handle. Okay, one of them is dead, that that helps us. I don't know if it saves us. It just helps us. Uh, but yeah, we got. Uranus for the actual freezing, Mom's contact for the for the the petrifying, and then um, Parasitoid for the slowing, and we've got multiple forms of slowing and freezing and all sorts of stuff there. It's interesting. Okay, I think we take this. We gamble, we gamble here, which is scary. I. It depends. I, I was about to say, I, I think I can do this, but I actually don't know for sure, because these guys go off screen a lot. Um, as you can see, I've already perished one time. And I think these guys deal a full heart of damage, so if they hit me one more time, I do actually die. Um, but, as you can see, the freezing. But yeah, we've got so many forms of freezing and slowing, which I know won't like, super apply to the bosses, but that's still going to be pretty nice. And we just got Sacred Heart. So, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good going. I'm going to take this because, for one, I need the HP. But for two, the look upgrade is actually pretty awesome for us here. And this is some good combinations of stuff here. Some good combinations of stuff. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. 
And I I think we're at the point now where we, we can we can stop killing ourselves so much. Skinny Odd is very nice for us here. I think it's actually a pretty top tier pickup. Because the damage we don't really care about. The fire rate is, is way more important. Because I ain't no alabaster. Um, alabaster box there. Interesting. Yeah, this is gonna be nutty. We're gonna be freezing enemies like crazy because of our high damage. We're gonna be stunning them. We're gonna be creating spiders like at an absolutely egregious rate. Oh, this is... These, these are some item combos that I can really get behind. All we need now to really bring this to the next level, I think, is piercing. I think piercing would would step this up to some unbelievable shenanigans. Unbelievable shenanigans. Are you... That bomb bopped me direct... Oh, that was annoying. It, it bopped me directly on top of the, uh, the, the, the stop button. Just frustrating. But yeah, I think that's one thing that I've... I've spoken about this a little bit before, but that's one thing that I've always been so, like, grateful and thankful of with doing YouTube, and it's something that I'll always be, is be getting to be so involved with modding. Okay, that's really good to know that's there. I might even go for another death knowing that that's there. Um... Yeah, let's, let, let's, let's do that, because our damage is so insane. Yeah, getting to be involved in sort of the ground floor of modding and having like friends like Never Named that I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely really close friends with now, who's a, a really like big part of the modding uh, community and Enter the Gungeon, both in the actual mods that he creates, but also in the processes and, and things that get created. So let's get down to half a heart here. I didn't even die. No, 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 no. You were supposed to kill me, sir. I'll check in here. Damn it. You can kill me. And then I can take this. And then I can get gone. Grab that. And check out what we got going on. I'll do it. I'll try for a reroll here. We did get one. Hmm. Orbits around the player, poisons, damages, and pushes within the line, uh, extra damage and range. I don't think any of those are, are really particularly influential for us here. Let's uh, let's just leave. Do have a judgment? Don't care. And that. I should destroy these rocks. I know they can shoot me, but the chance at a crawl space is much higher in these rooms. Unfortunately, nothing. Yeah, it's an opportunity I, I didn't really see myself ever getting, and it's super awesome that I get it. Ooh, what the hell? This is new. Get a small startup whenever you pick up a coin. Damn. <laughs> that would be very good if we didn't have the automatic coin gain mod on. Chance to lose stat ups um, and spawn pickups once per floor when coins are picked up. Yeah, that would be really good if we went uh, in a setup where it wasn't good. <laughs> That's a real shame. But cool item nonetheless, especially for a regular run. Um, would be really good for this run if we hadn't have balked it. So that... I'm really confused. Why does Spike Rock hurt you sometimes and not others? That's... That's bizarre. Um... I think the blank's actually pretty useful, you know? Oh, Hive Mind is the tippiest, toppiest of tier for us right now. That is a absolutely must have. You, you survived? I did not realize you survived, sir. I like the fact that the ice enemies, like the, the ice frozen enemies also block other enemies from moving around and shooting and stuff. Oh, what the hell's hit me there? I think there was one of those invisible guys running at me. I think there's a few of those invisible guys running around, actually. I don't see them, but they're somewhere. What in the hell caused that massive brimstone? Was it one of those flies? I did not see that. I did not see that coming, sir. That champion tried to split in two, but I was like, no. Get frozen. Get m m m m m And yeah, do the next wave straight off the bat here. We've really crafted a pretty amazing run here, I think. Obviously, Sacred Heart really skyrocketed it into the upper echelons of amazing. 
but it already had some really like well crafted pieces to become a very good run and hive mind is gonna further elevate for them just crazy damage like we're gonna be getting like 64 damage spiders i think something along those lines it's gonna be it's gonna be nutty to a, to a whole new level dodged your brimstone fella what was that it that was it wow um get a miser heart when depleted reroll all items passively grants discounted in shops Ooh, that's really cool okay how much of a discount does it give None. I'm guessing it's because the shop items were already there. I'm guessing when we spawn new shop items, it will take effect. Either that or if it's only a chance to give a discount and we just got unlucky. Yeah, it is a chance. Okay. Um, pretty decent. Seems like a, a good uh, a good heart. I like it. Oh my god, look at that keeper. That is quite horrific. Anyways, let's keep pushing through here. Sadly, can't freeze any of these, but still, the damage is going to be nutty. The amount of spiders and flies that we're going to be generating here, it, they're going to wreak havoc. Absolute havoc. <laughs> oh, baby, you. You've got what I need. Taking some rather interesting damage here. There's still a keeper about. There he is. I don't know what's dropping all this random crap on the floor, I'll be honest. There's pennies everywhere. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. Things are literally dying instantly. Quite literally. You you need to stop doing that. There's still so many corpses about. Oh, it's me that's dropping money. I see. I'm like really confused. Where's all this money coming from? I'm getting hit by keepers and dropping money. Oh god, oh god. A lot of shots incoming, and they're all dead. Dude, can I stop taking damage, please? I'll take that, thank you, for more HP. I don't really want to lose any luck here, so I don't really want to do that. But at the same time, I do want more money. And that would give us a considerable amount more money. I skipped that devil deal there, don't ask me why. That is very nice. I think we're pretty good to go here. Thunder Thighs ended up paying off quite nicely. I didn't think about how much stuff you need bombs for in Greedy Mode. I didn't think it'd be much, but it's actually quite a lot. Anyways, let's go in for the fight. I'm not sure how this is going to go, like how quickly we're going to get through him. We're definitely going to beat him, I'm pretty sure. I'm just not sure how, um, how quickly that's going to pop off. We do have the Keeper with the Drip up top there. He's uh, he's a supporting character for this. Okay, now we're killing him pretty darn quickly. I'm going to try and use Purgatory whenever I can. Because Purgatory actually does nuts damage when you have this higher damage. The scaling on it is pretty wicked. Um, it can hit, I think it's up to four times for your damage value. So one Purgatory can deal four times our tier damage. Which may, may not sound much considering we're firing tiers at this rate. But if we can be hitting tiers and getting one of those out, it's it's all it's all good, baby. It's all good. Dude, can you stop spawning these little shits? Oh wait, he's completely stuck. That's kind of interesting. Didn't know that. Okay, he can't actually physically walk past a frozen enemy. That's potentially quite useful if I can create enough of them and not destroy them by accident but there you go first phase is done anyways I love the way the ice sculpture things can knock into other ice sculptures and create it we got an item out of that what the hell I didn't see what this trinket did I'll be honest was it a trinket oh okay it wasn't a trinket it was consumable oh it keeps going Interesting. It's like a spiked rock continually firing across the whole room. Does it four times? I think it did it there. We've got astral projection triggered. It means our next hit is going to be uh, comped, essentially. I'm trying to get these coins when I can because they're giving us stat ups. And it stops him from healing. Oh, hello. Hello. 
There's a steam sale there as well. What is happening, people? What is happening? Anyways, this guy is mostly considerably burned. He is kind of getting some good hits on me, though. More than I was expecting. Give me that. Well, that was a... That was a toasty, spicy, spicy run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What a fun one. A lot of good stuff going on there. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.